So uh, we have designed a, a packaging that is reusable, but that's of course completely different. That's something that has to be can be thrown away. When you throw it away, you want the uh, resource effects to be as minimum as possible. When a package can be re reused multiple times, this one can be used 30 times, 35 times, um, you have to make sure that it is strong enough. So the material has to be str strong and a little bit thicker as well. But also, the handling should be easy, both for the web store, when they have to put the product in, as well as for the end user. Those are also things that you take in mind. When you return packages through the postal system, it, must, it means that all over the world, the packaging has to be fitting in a, in a mailbox. So as you can see, this size fits into all mailboxes. So when the parcel is much bigger, because this is a A3 size package, you have to fold it. The folding also has to be done smart and closed because, because of the Velcro, the, the package stays in one piece. But that's, that's something that you learn by doing and testing this. So there's a lot of different things you have to check before you use, uh, make a reusable package. When we, uh, we, when we introduced Repack, of course, we were focusing on the fashion world, but since you do some marketing, also your name gets known by non-fashion uh, retailers and web stores. So we were approached by a number of companies that said, can you do the same for non-breakable, for breakable items? And in fact, we can. We have already done some projects where uh, breakable items are packed. The challenge is to find a package that can always be folded small, fit in a letterbox, and sent to us for recirculation again. But we are absolutely determined to go much broader than only the fashion world. Because the food, for example, is a coming market in e-commerce. More and more people buy food online. Let's make sure we buy that food in a reusable package. This repack package is made of recycled polypropylene, polypropene, I should say. The, um, um, that's the first thing you take in mind when you, make, when you design a package. Make sure you use the correct uh, uh, material, preferably recycled material. The second thing you think of is the protective value of the package and easy to use. And the last and, and, and very important thing as well is end of life. Those, those, those are always the three factors you have to think of when you make a package. This package here, recycled polypropylene, can be reused. We hope, of course, it lasts 30 times, 40 times, but as always, things can go wrong. Sometimes a package gets broken in the log logistic system. What we do with these, when we get them, we collect them and we bring them to a recycling station that makes new packages out of them, again, preferably repacks. Although this is a, a returnable package, we do not get 100% back. We hope that happens, and we even remind end users to send back the package, but we see very differing return rates. Depending on the country, depending on the type of web store, the return rates can be somewhere between 60 and 90%. That, that is that first batch that comes back. But then we will remind the people, hey, you still have this repack, please send it back to us. Usually then a second wave comes. What happens with the packages that do not come back? Of course, we do not really know, but we have checked it with some end users. Some, some do not answer, but others say, this is so nice, I have kept it for myself. Or I have made a backpack of it, and some people have even made an umbrella of the package. This, this, this package is made for fashion, but we are also de designing solutions for other industries. And uh, these are small items. They can go in a small package that can be reused multiple times. So we are already designing solutions for these industries. Uh, electronics, jewelry, but also food. So we see that it will develop into different industries. Another change that we also see coming is that there will be much more intelligence in the packages. Because this package can be used 30 times over, we can put some intelligence in there, like chips that create virtual reality or augmented reality, where people that receive their order can scan the package and have information or be directed to the web store or have advice about how to use the products. <laughs>